according to God's will about you, by the time Tinubu is done with Nigerians, by the time Tinubu is done with you, you will not recognize Nigeria again. What you are seeing now is a preamble compared to what will happen. This man is the one that reveals the secret of whatever they are planning. You know, his mouth doesn't stay one place. His mouth is like typewriter. Tap. On a waka pump. He's still the same person that say, we are going to send prayer inside your email box. The secret these senators have been keeping for many years. We did not know. How will we know that after they finish wasting time in the name of sitting as senators, achieving nothing, they used to share money. It's about you that revealed the secret. When he said, okay, don't worry, we are going for holiday. We are going for holiday now. Okay, we will send money inside your mailbox. We will send prayers. And we are hearing, off his mic, off his mic, off his mic. This is president that don't know how to talk. Off his mic, off his mic. They offer Ababio mic. Why? Because Ababio was not supposed to say that in public. How can you tell them how we share money? The money that we normally share on code. We have had Senate presidents come and go. None of them had revealed our secret. How come Ababio is now telling them that we are sharing prayers? It's Ababio that will tell you people when and how they will rig 2027 general election. Because they are not actually going to do any election. Now rigging, then the right result and that is the truth. Because Ababio said that by the time Tinebu finished with Nigerians, you will not recognize Nigeria. I have no doubt that by the time this president is true with his tenor in this country, seven years from today, many people will not recognize FCT. They will not recognize Nigeria again. So and hey, don't take this with a pinch of salt. Because I can see that some of you have gone spiritual already. No, what about you mean is that by the time Tinibu is done with Nigeria, and that's seven years, we will not recognize Nigeria again. Meaning that Nigeria will now be good. Everything will bounce back. Our currency will be better than dollars. Um, we will have lights. Our youth will have jobs. Nigeria will be the best place anybody will want to be. Now the hope where you they give yourself. Wake up from that sleep. That is nightmare. Wake up. Wake up. You will be disappointed. They will raise your hope and they will dash it against the wall. APC get nothing to give anybody. If you don't know it before, I want you to know it now. Now I'm seeing hashtag uh, APC must go. They know they pursue APC by mouth or voting. Now by action. Action and action, action movie. You have to do chak and chain for them. See this particular one. They don't pursue them by printing flyers. These people are mean. These guys are mean. Ababio said by the time, you know his mouth is period. You don't know how to talk in public. His mouth is like a typewriter. Tap on our phone. Whatever they say in, in secret, you don't know when he used to come out to say it in public. That's why he was referring to prayer, pushing prayer inside the mailbox. Normally, he's not supposed to say it, you know, like on code. But because he doesn't know how to talk, he won't even know when he will start speaking their secrets. And it's good. So he's telling you again that whatever you are saying now is just a preamble. Like, it's, a, it's, it's just a starting. Like, they are still warming engine. They never start. So this, you that is trying to go spiritual, no, we we'll have to pray. This, is, this must be positive. Let it be that it is, uh, by the time Tinubu finish with Nigeria, we cannot recognize Nigeria again in a positive way. Not be waiting Buhari tell on What did he, Buhari say? 215, is it okay? I will change one dollar to one naira. All the promises Buhari made in 2015. Are you not asking yourself what happened to those promises? What happened to the change? What happened to your change? What happened? Nothing came out of it. And now they say it's renewed hope. Have, your, have they renewed your hope? He said, oh, deal it out with you people. By the time Tinibu is done with Nigerians, when husband is see his wife, he will pass the wife. He will not even recognize the wife. That is the level this whole thing is going. Oh, you don't know. Mm. I'm explaining it for you one after the other because I know that you know you people don't understand things. You don't understand sign language. Whatever they tell you, you believe that. You believe these people too much. That why did they deal with you? Now? That is why they smile over every rubbish they do to you people. They smile over it. Because they know that you people believe them. And you don't ask questions. Black people don't ask questions. Africans, naturally, they are not good with asking questions. They only clap. Like they, they're like goods. 
Even if the trailer they run for goods, it's still they enter inside the main road. Knowing fully whether this place is your end is dangerous, black man don't have that reasoning. Now the Akabashan, well, it's going to be a positive one. It's positive. It's not positive. Oh. Nobody is giving your children a job. Nobody is giving you electricity. Nobody is giving you water. APC came to destroy and to do what? To make sure that they scatter Nigeria. That is their motto, not their agenda. They are not coming to help anybody. I'm seeing this. This um, APC must go. This hashtag APC must go. They don't pursue APC with ordinary mouth. It's by action. It's by action. If you don't go in that action way, everything you are saying is just going to be watered down because nobody cares about making ordinary noise. By the time he is done with you, you see, as you see your husband and your wife now looking very fat, like this fowl. You see the way this fowl look very fat. That is how your husband, you feel your husband look. By the time he is done with you, this is how your husband will now look. This is how your wife will look. The whole feather, hey, your husband is doing it. I didn't do it now. Tinibu yehu na ajina. Did you hear what I said? Tinibu yehu, these people are ajina. Oh, yehu na ajina. And I don't think Nigerians are fat like this. This file will look healthy now. This file was when Obasanjo was still the president. And maybe to an extent, Jonathan, yes. When Jonathan was the president, this is how you people look. Very healthy, chubby, and attractive. Very healthy and attractive and chubby. This is not, no, I will, I'm going to look a better, I'm going to look for a better file. How you people look now. And how you people will look after seven years of Tinibu. Uh -huh. This is one, this one. This is how you people look now. At least you people look manageable. Uh, Babio is trying to tell you people that the way you people look now, manageable. And uh, still, like, there's a life in you. And a little feather. By the time Tinibu is done with you, your husband will look like Washoko. Your wife, it will be worse than a washoko. Your children, their stomach will be very large. No food. That is all. Is it not the same Ababio that was making, laughing at poor people? Making mockery of poor people? Let the poor people breathe? Is it not Ababio? Okay, you don't know? Okay. That let the poor breathe. And then Senator Musafa has seconded that the poor should uh, breathe. Those who are in support of the additional uh, uh, prayer that uh, the poor should be allowed to breathe, say aye. aye. And those who are again say nay. The eyes have it, the poor must be allowed to breathe. <laughs> the, let me... Why you people are lamenting? The senators are making mockery of you people. They are laughing at your condition and your situation. You do not see about you. Let the poor breathe. <laughs> they are laughing at you people. All this, your pain, sorrow, anger, hunger, all the, the thing they make them laugh. Una suffering, they, they amuse them. They are using you people for entertainment in that Senate house. And in the, the one they say this uh, uh, Green Chamber house of all those, they are those, those rubbish they pack together. They are making mockery of you people. Then they use Una do entertainment. If they hear that they say somebody just fainted because of hunger, they will come inside the Senate. Somebody fainted, oh, oh let us allow this people to breathe. <laughs> they will even be drinking wine. Why they are laughing at you? You think they care? Hmm. Who know you? Who know your papa? They don't care. That is why Ababio, he let the poor breathe. Let us just allow these poor, useless poor people. These useless poor people, let us allow them to breathe. Or should we allow them to breathe? Did you people want us to allow these useless poor people to breathe? I should knock it. I should knock for this, this, uh, this animals that call themselves Nigerians. These chimpanzees, zombies. Should I allow them to breathe? They don't have sense. With everything, the way we are looting them, they still have mouths to be talking. Should we allow them to breathe? They say, oh yeah, let us allow them. They hit. Let us allow them. They slap. <laughs> then after hitting that thing, when I don't, they breathe. You people are still not breathing. Then they use when I do entertainment. When I be cartoon network for Senate House. Anytime the senators want to laugh, or the, the ones that call themselves uh, is honor, honorable members. Anytime they want to laugh, anytime they feel like they want to watch comedy or horror, they will carry their remote and put channel. They will say, hey, somebody just fainted. Hey, there's one woman that fell from the sky. She said she can no longer cope. She just fell from 10 Milan Bridge. She have entered inside the river. 
they will look at it, they will laugh. Hey, there's one woman that is supposed to take her children to the hospital because she doesn't have money. See, oh, the leg of her child is now um, deteriorating, you know, it don't decay. Oh. The woman is crying, you know. they will be laughing at your tears. Somebody just fainted, they carry pure water, he fainted, oh. they ask her, what is the problem? Say, just give me food. The senators will be laughing. That is why they are laughing at people. You cannot end APC or end APC. Tinubu must go. All those Tinubu must go. APC must go. APC came for destruction. And you have to end them in a very brutal way. <laughs> you are waiting for election. 2027. Sorry, they don't write the results. They are pushing Tinubu. It's a direct entry. You have not heard of um, Miracle Center. All those Miracle Center. Wayek Miracle Center. This Tinubu only is a pure miracle. Miracle Center. They are writing his direct entry. You know, you people were, in fact, let me read something. There's one thing, one man posted. He said, they said that uh, Tinubu is going to perform magic in Nigeria. You people should, especially those ones that have gone spiritual way. You see many of you that call yourself Christians, when I go convert to Muslim, now the level where they, when they go like this. Because of hunger, frustration, the kind of, you see all your teeth, that is if you survive it. You people who talk to no Muslim, they will not work about very soon. He said, you take, because one guy was saying, let's give Tinubu time. He's just time. Give nobody no time because nobody is coming to rescue you. You take a look at Nigeria. You take a look at Nigeria. Then look at Tinubu. Then look at Nigeria again. And then believe that Tinubu is the answer to our current problems. Then suppose use you for sacrifice. We should leave these innocent goods that you people used to do sacrifice. A lot of human beings are supposed to be used for sacrifice because they are not useful. Many of you are not useful. Because they don't know no charge. Some of them still believe that Tinubu will give them something. Tinubu will bring something out. By the time Tinubu is done, many of you will not have hair again. They will shave you. Tinubu government will shave you people. So I hear that you people buy a penta of gari. Somebody say a penta of gari is now five thousand. Okay, in this location they say they bought it for three thousand eight hundred. The other location say five thousand. A rubber of rice. This person says six thousand. One tuba of yam, two thousand two hundred. A whiskey five hundred. Petro per liter. You know these are the things. The what Nigerians are passing through. This one is a preamble. Small. By the time you get to year four after tenable finish four years year five year six year seven year eight pray for survival pray for survival put your seat belt tighten it if you don't have seat belt use rope and, and hold yourself look for one three go and tie yourself a deal because very soon the kind of hunger that is coming the wave of this hunger is going to come like tsunami and hurricane it will fly you away when you don't have food when you now look like pepper a small breeze the breeze will blow you away Nobody is coming to rescue you. Ending APC is not by mouth or by election now. Should I tell you what to do? I don't think you deserve it. I don't think so. I will only tell you what they are cooking. They see now, as it stands now, they are cooking. APC, they are cooking. You think what, whatever you are saying now is food? This is you. They never go market now. It's now they want to know whether they will start planning to cook. You say you are buying a paint of Gary 4,000, you will buy it 20,000 a paint. You have 10 million in your account. That 10 million, you can't use it to send your child to school. I am not a prophetess, so I am only telling you what APC have in stock for you. This is what they are planning for you. And for you that is going to church that has kept your problem at the feet of God, he said, let you go and read the Bible. Bible know they go war. Israel know they use Bible go war. Now action. You see your Bible. A time will come when you, you you see that your Bible, you fold it and keep it one side. You know why? You will have to start facing reality. And what is the reality? God has given you brain. And you only use your brain to bring something out of your life. Bible has nothing to do with you. Working out your freedom. Working it out. Fighting it out either way. By hook or by crook. Whatever way it will take you. Israel, you know, they use the Bible. They don't use the name of God. They don't use chaplet. They don't use olive water. I am just reminding you that I have gone spiritual, talking about God. 
God has given you knowledge and wisdom. It now depends on how you make use of it. Allow this innocent Bible and chaplet to be. Go and use your brain. The brain God gave you. If you say that the nice thing is in a household, because that is the level hand they a hand they was it? Anybody that see that they can't cope again, hey, you people should stop wasting your lives like that. Before that, go and use that your life and what Israel is doing. Go and use it and do something meaningful. You can't, the people that kept you, made you to start a quarter are still living life, enjoying life. Now, nah, why not fight it out? Before, you know, you fight it out. I shouldn't be spinning everything for you.